Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we're back with Deadly Premonition. And if you watched the last video, you know that we have Emily tailing Nick and the Woodman, Sheriff Woodman, tailing Diane in an attempt to uh, determine whether or not they uh, are involved in the case. Uh, it does seem like one or the other, or perhaps even both are uh, involved somewhat in the case so we're trying to determine uh, if they are actually involved and the level of the uh, the potential involvement at this uh, at this time so you know hopefully uh, hopefully we will hopefully we will be illumined shortly that is my Sincere and earnest hope. As we have been in the dark for full whoa, that is a fence. That is a fence. Now I wonder, is it possible to get your car repaired? Because uh, if you notice the durability uh, of this car, I've been I've been driving it for a while, and I actually had. Um, I actually had it upgraded, which is why I've kind of continued to drive it. Um, it is at 61%, so it is starting to decrease. Let's focus on the case at hand. The murders with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases, and we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls, and they were killed in eight different states. They arrested all seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. However, we must not overlook there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the red seeds. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Well, let's just do what we can do and do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Yeah, those uh, seeds, if you have been watching the series or played this game before, those seeds were in the very first scene of the game, the very first cut scene uh, of the game. Uh, he was looking at them in his car while smoking, uh, using his phone, I believe he was using his phone, I actually can't remember, but he was on his laptop while driving at high speed in the rain. Um, so, he might not have been using uh, his phone, I think he was talking to himself, and uh, I was not aware of that at the time, so. Uh, but anyway. So I've got about 20 minutes to kill, which in game is actually a considerable amount of time. So, um, let's see, Nick's house. Where is, now there's Anna's house or Anna's house, I guess is how most people have been pronouncing it right here. Now I'm not sure if Anna lived with her mother or not. But, um, you know, it might be worth uh, just dropping by there really quick. I had got a comment um, suggesting as much in the last video. No, oh, it is closed. Still got 17 minutes. So... I do have a little bit of time to kill, and of course I can, if I don't get anything done, then I'll just, uh, I will just elapse time until, uh, until I need to be there. Okay, so I cut quite a bit of the, um, footage out, because I didn't, uh, know what to do right off the bat, and what I've ended up doing is driving a long way out here to uh, get another one of the bones that I'm not quite sure what they do yet, uh, but that just seemed like one of the things to do. I had got a comment in uh, my last video um, to, uh, to 
seek out some of the other bones and as I said I didn't have anything better to do. Well, it is 2200. And here is the bone. Here we go. Got the right foot bone. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Said it before, and I'll say it again. You should absolutely let someone know. But you're not going to. Because you haven't done that yet. Of course, I don't think I have had a direct encounter with um, Sheriff Woodman yet. Now, maybe I have. Uh, potentially slipping my mind. So... I don't know. We'll see if he brings it up the next time I talk to him. The next time I talk to him that's not directly related to the case. So, maybe he'll bring it up. Okay, so we just got uh, back into town and I just saved the game. Because I don't want to lose traveling all the way out there to get that bone. Uh... It, but when I came back into town, the gas station was closed. So I am at 33% fuel here. Um, but you can see it's between 22 and 2300 now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, or I'm going to go ahead and go into the zone here. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned, then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. Now, on occasion, it had um, given me unlimited Agent fuel York, in missions. Nick is leaving the bar. So hopefully that'll that happen. She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. 10-4. Copy that. Agent York, it's Nick. The rains have come. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Okay. Time to play with the big boys, Nick. Okay, so what I wonder is the limit that I've got going on here. Does that mean I need to not get uh, very close to him? Or does that mean he can't get very far away from me? I'm not entirely certain. Whoops. I'm not certain uh, exactly. Whoops, what I'm going for, whoa. Um, in terms of... In terms of the target here, blue to me looks like an attractive color. And that's where it started me. So, and, I, and when I got a little bit closer, when I got into the 40s, it went kind of yellowish. So I'm assuming that that's bad. So I guess keeping it kind of in the blue here looks to be healthy. So that's what I'm going to do. Or that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Um, hopefully failure will not transpire. But if you've watched me play this, then you know that um, failure has to remain an option. Because, well, it happens. It does happen. Well, well, we got a little close there. We got a little close. All right, guys, let's speed up here. We're going 30 the whole time. This is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. Or less than 30. Considerably less than 30. I mean, I'm, I'm barely touching the trigger when I go. It seems like about the... Whoa. About the gentlest I can touch the trigger. So now I just... 
It's not engaging at all. Like, it's not engaged. There, it's engaged. Yeah, that's just... Okay. So that's indicating to me... Oh, shoot. I was I was looking at the speedometer and not at all. Um, not at all the <laughs> screen. That was not wise. So I almost rammed into the guy that I was following. Um, so that indicates to me that even with the controller, the throttle is either engaged or disengaged. Uh, now, whether or not that's true on the console, I don't know. Uh, but uh, with the PC port, or at least with my version, or my instance of the PC port, that is what is happening. The throttle is either engaged or disengaged, so... Which, for the most part, doesn't really matter to me, um, except in this instance when I need to have more precise control over my throttle. Usually I just want to be going as fast as I can be going. So, for most of the, most of the time, while playing this, doesn't really matter to me. But, uh, in this particular instance, it's a little frustrating. Suppose I could turn my windshield wipers on. Guess that would help. Although, frankly, I notice a negligible difference. This makes me feel kind of cool that I can turn my windshield wipers on in-game. Okay, maybe that there's not a car in front of him now. Maybe he's gonna move with purpose. Maybe not. Very much not. So, I mean, who drives on a road like this at 20 miles an hour? Okay, never mind. Never mind. In the rain. In the rain. I have followed many a people who would drive on a road just like this at 20 miles an hour or less. Much to my extreme frustration. Of course, that being said, I have not observed a posted speed limit. So I do not know how fast he uh, legally should be going. Additionally, I'm only 60 yards behind him. And it's 11.17 at night, so I guess we've got some artificial illumination game-wise here that's probably making it a little bit brighter than it actually would be because we're out in the middle of the woods right now and I don't have my lights on, so this would actually be pretty much pitch black. Uh, I mean, there are no street lamps, and we're outside of the town. Like, this would legitimately be pitch black behind here, and the only illumination that we would see would be their headlamps. Um, so, yeah, I guess he wouldn't be able to see me uh, unless I was pretty close to him. Um, except for when the lightning struck. So, lightning struck, if he was looking in his rearview mirror, he would definitely see the shape of a car behind him, and the jig would be up. He would definitely know that someone was following him. Or, maybe not that someone was actively following him, but that there was a car behind him without their headlights on. And that would kind of creep me out. That's for dang sure. That's when I would pull out my glove box Mac-10, turn around and start unloading like crazy. That is my traditional, that is my custom. That is my custom. And uh, it's perfectly legal, as I understand it. Oh, loading screen. Oh, well, at least we've got some kicking tunes going on in here. This cutscene seems to be indicating a higher. Whoa! Holy crap! We'd all have halos by now if I was driving. I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. Oh. Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't want the time to get serious. Hold on, you two. This might get bumpy. Um, the velocity of our cars was exaggerated in that cutscene because we, um. We would not have spun that many times going. I think we were going 15 miles an hour. George. No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I guess it's good of him to admit that, but I didn't... I, I'm, I'm surprised that, uh... that Woodman would do that. Zach, Nick and Diane are probably both inside. George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. 
a house that big would have to have Help a back door. Can, would you? Or a side door or any other door. I mean, for crying out loud. Now, especially since he's parked in the front yard it, with his SUV and his lights were on in the cutscene, unless I'm mistaken, it did appear that his lights were on. Limit five. So I've got five minutes to find an entrance. Um, okay, that's not going to do it. Oh, no, okay, it's not counting down. That was just the time. As in, it is um, 12.06 right now. Uh, that is a place to sleep. I do not require sleep at this juncture. Hopefully this is not going to um, raise the alarm here. I just kind of want to blast my way through this without using up uh, the durability of any of my uh, consumable weapons. But I will go ahead and bring out my steel pipe in case I do need to bust it out really quick. Now, we will not be able to get in here. Holy crap! gonna say we will not be able to get in there uh, because uh, there's the uh, red uh, impenetrable junk on the uh, door there yes. Great. Amazing. a little reload action there do we have someone else coming up out of the ground there yes. we do we do indeed now whoa We do have what appears to be a, uh, I mean, we're, we'll, we'll definitely have a spawn here. Whether or not this is an infinite spawn remains to be seen. We do seem to be handling them fairly well. Uh, and they seem to be dropping. Uh, whoa. Um, considerable amount of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take some of these shotgun shells. Actually, because if multiple people are dropping shotgun shells. Oh shoot, that person has a shotgun and is about to shoot it. Crap. Yes. Um. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. I'm actually about to die here, so we definitely need to um, address that. Um, I'm going into my inventory right now uh, to get healed. Now, that being said, This is not an ideal situation, so we definitely have what appears to be an infinite spawn here. Uh, crap! That shotgun is uh, devastating, and I cannot get on target fast enough here. Um. take them out and I, I definitely won't be able to um what do we got here let's uh, see if we can get out of here I'm 
No. An onion. Let's go ahead and grab that. This is not the way. I can tell you that right now. That's not the way. I'm going to run around the other side of the house. That was just a good way to get my butt kicked. That's what that was. That was exactly what that was. Now, what do we have here? Very interesting. Yes. Great. Nice shot. Okay. Great. Great. Eat that. Not sure what that uh, red situation is there. Amazing. Yes, nice shot. Let's go ahead and reload here as they start to get closer. They phase to the side, that is definitely uh, discombobulating to say the least. Whoa! Someone behind me. Great. Yes. Crap, I think I've got to try to... Oh, shoot, that guy's got a shotgun. Run, 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 run. I think it's time to pull out the uh, bigger gun here. And, um... Just make a little bit of, uh... is a little bit better. And some more 10 millimeter ammo to uh, recoup a little bit of our loss there. Yes. You back off. And you back off too. Yes. And let's go ahead and get on through here. Really? I needed more than just a card here. Not in the mood. Amazing. 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 Not in the mood. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so it does not appear we can go that way. It doesn't appear that we can go. So this is not the way. And the front did not appear to be the I mean, the front's not the way. The, the other side is certainly not the way. Um, I'm going to see. I'm, I'm actually going to go save my game for one uh, now that I'm here. Let's do that. Uh, we've taken a considerable amount of attrition here. Actually, how do, I don't know where I took that attrition from. Thought that I was healed up. So we are, we're, we're pretty hurt here. We are pretty dang hurt. Um. But I did not see another uh, route that we could take. So 
So that's closed. Um, that's definitely closed. Closed. And the other side definitely appeared to be just as closed. Go ahead and dual box that too. This is um no. Hmm. I am at something of a loss here. Well, if Nick was headed anywhere, it was here. Maybe he took a different side road from the forest. The sheriff says he hasn't seen him. Has not seen him. No cars have shown up. I haven't seen Nick either. I know, I know, George. This is not about that. Okay, let me take a look at my... Oh, we don't really have... There's not really... Now, what is this... Um, glowing here? It's like I should be able to interact with something, but I cannot. All right, you guys need to go down. Time for you to die again. I believe you are already of the undead. could possibly be around here. Oh, there's another. Here we go. Here we go. Did not see this. Being a little bit wasteful with my uh, ammunition here. buddy I've just had about enough of it we're going in think that going down there Emily I want you guys to wait out here I know I'm not gonna fight you about this anymore but promise me this if there's trouble then you'll call us in okay further you might not think so but we're a team a team that's what I think, at least, and I'm interested in you and Zach. I don't want anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. That. Oh, there we go. There's the crash. Well, let's try to get back in, see if we can get it to get past that point. Okay, so I just loaded it and uh, got back to that point. I'm really glad that I had gone back and saved it um, right right outside the uh, mansion. I'm really glad that I did that. Uh, saved me from having to go back a long way. 
Um, so hopefully we're going to get through this loading sequence. Now I was going to say before the crash that I was really happy, or not really happy, that um, the fact that Emily just showed up in there is further evidence um, to me of my theory that the the all this supernatural stuff is just completely in Agent York's head. There's been no evidence whatsoever um, that any Zach, of that... Did you hear that? She wants to know more about you. Isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. There's no evidence that any of the supernatural stuff has been uh, influencing uh, or interacting with uh, the rest of the world. Because when we, we seamlessly come in and out of... Um, those um, instances um, you know and other people are there and there's no mention of the supernatural entities made whatsoever um, furthermore um, you know Agent York has in all of his interactions with people made no mention of any supernatural uh, entities so it just, it, it really does not seem that way. Now, based on my ammunition consumption with the 10 millimeter submachine gun, it seems like it is just a fine weapon to use. I'm going to kind of monitor my usage of it, but let's go ahead and just, just really quick, take a look at, at my uh, consumption here. So I've got, uh, 658 rounds with it. So uh, I think I'm fine. Uh, you know, if I get down to like maybe 200 rounds, then I will consider, um, consider, you know, really going, uh, sparing with it. But for the time being, Amazing. let's just, let's just go nuts with it. Nice shot. And, um, just let God sort them out, you know what I mean? Well, now what's going on here? Didn't seem like she should take as much as she did. She took a lot of lead. A mission knife. Go ahead and throw that in the toolbox. I do not require it right now. What do we have here? Oh, nothing I can interact with. So we will head on. Now, I'm trying to peer around the corners as best I can using my uh, camera angles. Bullseye. Amazing. Nice shot. But I am somewhat limited in that regard. Let's see what we got here. We've got an observe, but it keeps going away from me. Droplets of blood from the ceiling. The blood's still fresh. Could it be the victim's? Um, well, based on the amount of blood, I don't think that whoever spilt it is doing okay. What do we got here? A pale portrait on a red background, greeting us with a creepy smile. Climb up. Well... It sounds like one of these are making noise, so I have a feeling one of these are about to jump up and just go completely bonkers on me. But, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Was that, was that the sound of one of them opening? Nope. Okay. Well, that's just gonna haunt my dreams. Sounds good. Excellent. All of these sounds are making me very comfortable. Huh? Yep, time to pull that submachine gun out. Give him the old eat lead. Let him have it. Pray, oot, pray.
Yeah. Have a little bit of this. Whoa, so it like uh, goes incorporeal. It goes incorporeal. B evade. Where is it? Evade. Run, run, run. Oh my gosh. This is intense. Evade. Okay, run. Time to run. I don't like this. Not one freaking bit. How much more do you want? That's what I thought. What do you got for me? Oh, sweet. I definitely need that. I've, I've used a bunch of my first aid kits recently. Okay, so we just used... I know I was just talking about my uh, ammunition. And, uh... The fact that I thought we were pretty good on it, and I just used a ton of it. A ton of it. So, um, now we're going to save that. <laughs> we're going to save that because I, I didn't really expect uh, to have to blow uh, as much of it as I would, or as I just did, uh, in in, in uh, one instance. Um, or, or even for a while, you know. I mean, that was obviously enough to down quite a few enemies uh, but I had to use it on just one person so now is this gonna take me up into the mansion proper or is this taking me somewhere else that's the question that is the question the question of the day ah my toolbox everything the whole nine yards here what do we got we got a first aid kit small we got a phone let's go ahead and save first okay something catastrophic happens here um, by catastrophic, I mostly was referring to the game crashing. Uh, I meant to, uh, look at my sleep and hunger meter, which actually still look like they were doing pretty good. Uh, so I'll go ahead and throw the donut in the toolbox, as well as the, um, you know, the first aid kit that's coming with me. The wounds that I have sustained recently lead me to believe that I need more of those. Suitcase. It's probably time to change suits. Getting dirty? Brand new. I'm going back to the uh, agent suit. Change clothes. Yes. And submit the other one for cleaning. Heck yes. Now, I actually think that I have some more uh, 10 millimeter ammo stashed away in my toolbox, believe it or not. So that would be a really good thing to uh, grab out 900. So I can uh, get the whole nine yards here. Excellent. Okay, so I've got my inventory full of that. That is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we're, we're good to go here. We are absolutely, totally good to go. Um, so let's just go in. I don't, I don't even want to stop right now. I mean, I'm, I'm too excited. I mean, you know, the, the pacing wise, I think it's a good place to stop, but I, I just want to go in. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, uh, um, one, I, I just want to, that, that thing too creepy. It's too creepy to stop. I need a little bit, uh, I need to come off of that, um, encounter before I stop playing for one. And I want, I really want to figure out what the heck's going on here. At least a little bit. I want a little bit of some information. Oh no. 
Oh no. Everyone's got an apple. This is the entrance hall. Um. <laughs> I love that. No, I, I noticed that previously. The no smoking sign on his. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start his profile here. The no smoking sign on his uh, cigarette lighter. That's pretty funny. You. What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Well, that was that was a very long uh, profiling session there. Uh, so as has been my custom, um, put down what? Put down with this master key. You can drive all... Wait, what? Fishing rod. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think it's the right one. I don't quite know what. So I guess I need to get... Something. Maybe apples? <laughs> a painting of a man staring into the distance with a firm gaze. He's holding a red apple. I don't know. That tree is creeping me the heck out. That's the stuff nightmares are made of right there. I mean, look at that thing. We're crying out loud. That's disgusting. I mean, disgusting is probably not even the right word for that. But I don't like it. A painting of a baby holding a blue apple. A blue apple? Okay, something's wrong with my colors because that looks green on here. Um, that definitely looks green. Um, okay, where else are we going? Where do you go, my lovely? I want to know where do you go? Oh, oh, oh shoot. No, nope, get away from the tree. If the tree starts moving and coming towards me, then I'm just gonna lose it. I'm just gonna freaking lose it. Okay, yeah, I'm not going towards the tree. Where's the other apple? I see two apples, but I thought that there were three paintings. Red apple. And a green apple. Okay. Well, I guess I just need to go put those on there really quick then. Put down. The ripe, wait, ripe, green, they're green. I mean, it's, it said blue on that one though, didn't it? Or maybe I just read everything, maybe I read it wrong because it looks green, so. What do you mean you don't think it's the right one? It looked red when I shot it down, didn't it? 
Is there another apple on this tree? I've used all my time up. Farting around here. And I'm gonna lose. Somehow it doesn't look natural. Some parts are on the right place. Can you help fix it? I do not understand here. Not the right one. Yeah, but we don't have... Put down. Okay, put this one here. Well... Did that cause another one to grow? <laughs> I mean, I'm at a loss. There's no other apple. And I can't see anything now. Well, I think that we're about to uh, have an end game scenario here. Simply because I cannot see. I can't see anything now. Okay, so I, yeah, um, we'll continue, I'll, uh, yeah, game end, I'm done, <laughs> um, yeah, the three apples, I understand that much, oh shoot, so they're just gonna start me back down here, which is nice in the one sense that I don't have to go back a long way, but so I see three apples in the cutscene. Okay, they're in different places. Uh, I did not see um, that third one. There it is. I just didn't see it last time. Did not see it. So I was thinking that it had to have uh, gone somewhere else so huh, puzzle failed uh, due to lack of visual uh, visual acuity I figured uh, they just uh, they just must have stuck it somewhere else was what I had figured so I've got um, what do we have here this this guy wants the ripe one he wants the ripe one ripe And the baby wants the green one. And lastly, and somewhat embarrassingly, this dude wants the red one. I'm going to be interested to review that footage to see if I can see the uh, apple. Well, lady, you'll be happy to know that I've got a full clip or uh, a full stash of 10 millimeter ammo for you. Oh, shoot, there's one behind me. I mean, I probably need to stick and move here. Oh, she is she dead? Evidently. Okay, I do not require that. All right. I think this is excessive. Great. Amazing. <laughs> I like his reactions. Bullseye. Great. Amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Bullseye. Observe. Somehow it doesn't look natural. Yeah, can we fix it? But wait, hang on a second. 
This is not what I anticipated. Um. Well, I'm not really wanting to leave at this juncture. But in terms of parts to fix it with, oh shoot, yep, that person's got a shotgun. Bullseye. Amazing. Bullseye. Bullseye. Great. Not today, lady. Oh, okay. Just needed to kill everyone. Then the tree spews forth a bunch of blood, making it even a little bit awesome, a freaking shotgun. Uh, no, I'm not gonna take that. I'm not, I'm not taking that. I'm gonna observe it, though. A shotgun with a sawed-off short barrel uses 12-gauge shotgun shells. Yes? Um, okay. The, uh, pipes that I have... Actually, hang on a second. I think I can throw them, right? I don't really... I don't want them anymore. Throw away. And throw away. Yeah, those are gone. This guy's coming with me. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need to make sure this guy's loaded up and this guy is ready for action now i don't have a lot of shells probably but uh we are uh well never mind <laughs> we have 70 shells for this thing so i'm just gonna carry this puppy um because it's a freaking shotgun and uh well, i don't think i need to explain it any more than that red seeds Red seeds in an evidence bag. They're already in an evidence bag? It doesn't look like they're in an evidence bag. A red seed could be an important clue in solving this case. I sure hope so. I'm not going to start profiling until I have all the clues, uh, as has been my custom uh, the last couple of times we've uh, done one of these uh, cases, or uh, done one of these scenes, uh, just because it's it's so discombobulated until you have all the clues um, that I, I just, I mean, it's just, uh, I, I just don't find it very uh, revealing until you get that, until you get it all. Just uh, eats up a lot of time. And leaves you with more questions than answers. As does most of this game. Now, I would very much like to find a phone soon. For multiple reasons. What do we got here? Oh yeah, we're taking that. We are taking that. That's mine now. That is no longer not mine. Alright, who wants to take shotgun? This guy does. This guy knows what I'm talking about. What? What the heck just happened? Was that guy not, like, right in my crosshairs? Okay, what's going on with this gentleman right here? There are several things that I'm not digging about this whole... situation. Now, at least it, it, it that was proper. That was an appropriate response to the shotgun that that lady just had. Eat that. Yeah. Okay. Key to the special exhibition room. Yeah, we're taking that. Got to see what's so special about the exhibition room. I am most curious. Most curious indeed. Okay. We got freaking three guns and a sword. We're not screwing around here. You might ask yourself, is Gamer Blade screwing around? 
Answer. A resounding shotgun blast to that person's face. A blammo. Um, me like ye shotgun. It's ever my very first utilization of the shotgun was a little disappointing. But apart from that, really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. All right, what do we got going on here? Observe, it's locked. Well, I've got a key. Key utilized. Oh. Broken stiletto heel shoe. Ah, this. Interesting. I think we're getting somewhere. Most excellent. A stiletto heel shoe. Broken. Becky must have sent these with her letter. You got broken stiletto heel shoe. The second of three clues. Once again, we will refrain from profiling until we get the third and final clue. Now, uh, well, we got to back backtrack here. Got to backtrack. Hopefully we won't have to... Oh. There you go, lady. Shotgun blast to the face. Oh, that's the uh, pipe that, that other gentleman dropped. That gentleman. Well, she wasn't very gentle. It's more of a gentleman in the ironic, not actually a gentleman sense. gentleman in the that dude is totally not that at all since now isn't this is where okay hang on a second something is amiss here so I came in here and here was the room that I, I um Um, let's, let's check the old mini map. Oh shoot. Okay. What do we got going on here? My goodness. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, Okay, this is more confusing than helpful. But if I'm not mistaken, was it? It was this room. I don't know, something knocked the junk off of some doors somewhere. Oh, it must have been these doors. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I apologize for my idiocy. Now we're cooking with fire. Now we are doing... Now we're doing stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. You want a little bit, don't you? To the face. Oh, shoot. Come on. Now, that was... My... My, um... Shotgun blast definitely went off. It definitely went off. In my opinion. In my humblest of opinions. It went off... And I was, I was hosed there. 
Uh, let's go ahead and just utilize a medium here and get back up to pretty much full health. Um, let's step back here and um, see what we can do. Ten millimeter auto bullets. I do like that. You can take out multiples with this thing. Kablamo! I dig it. Now, are we done? We are not done. I believe we are in an infinite spawn scenario here. I'm going to switch over to the 10 millimeter submachine gun here. Yes. Yes. And uh, we're going to just proceed here. That dude is a butt. I do not like him. Oh, what is? What did he drop? I'm gonna grab those since I just used a bunch of 10 millimeter auto bullets. Why not? I'm going through this door. Farewell, infinite spawning zombie ghost figment of my imagination things. Frank has really dangerous things going on in his head, it would seem. Of course, I could be wrong. My theory could be totally, totally bonkers. I mean, it seems bonkers. But then again, there's a lot of bonkers stuff going on here. We've definitely had a deadly premonition. Now, do we want to go in here? Or do we want to go in the other door? I don't know. We're going in here first. Holy crap. Yes. Who's next? Great, great. Excellent. That did the trick. Oh wait, hang on a second. And we have so presumably, one of these guys is going to, um, I guess, give us power, because I, I guess that's a powered panel that opens up. Um, I don't know which one. Um, it looks like the red one, in all probability, is the one that I need to interact with. An automatically sliding storage room. Look like paintings or swords. Well, maybe not. But I am going to access this one. See what happens. Um. Uh oh. Well. There's the old P sign. Of course, it's lying on the ground. If it's lying on the ground, how do we know it's upside down? Oh, it's the last clue. So now we get the whole profile. You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. Oh, goodness. 
um, another one of those um, kind of incorporeal entities. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see. There might be something in, in, in some of these. That uh, doesn't look like it. I'll check maybe one more. Um, oh, I guess it looks like when you run away from them. Of course, that might have been the one that had the... Uh, might have had the uh, painting in it. Yeah. So I don't think they have anything in them. Now I could not tell from that cutscene. Uh, the hair did look like it might be female. And most of the scenes uh, from the back, it did look like female. But there was one scene in particular um, that to me looked like it might be a male. Um, so I'm not sure. Definitely want to save here. Okay, looked like we got a successful save there. Um, so uh, that should uh, prevent us um, from you know losing uh, progress. But speaking of progress, I think we made really, really good progress here. Um, that being said, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you did not, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. But if you did not like it, please... Uh, Please let me uh, know why you didn't in the comments uh, so I can improve my videos going forward and hopefully uh, cater cater to uh, you know a wider array of uh, of uh, you know wants <laughs> or tastes I guess would be a better way of putting it going forward. Um, so that being said, as always, thanks for watching, and we're gonna pick up right here next time.